Welcome back to my channel, everyone. This is Donnie, and you're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. Okay, this is part nine of my Diamond Art Club haul, and it is day six of the week of Diamond Art Club unboxings. And if everything goes right, I should have everything unboxed by the end of this weekend. I have one today, one tomorrow, and one on Sunday, and they are all the other than today the other two are the biggest yet so be looking forward to that today is actually a new release for this week um i'm not sure if it's the only new release i can't remember but i believe it is it is the limited edition glowing christmas tree and you're in luck it is still available i just checked it right before I started this video it took let's see I ordered it November 2nd which was the day after my birthday so it was Saturday they mailed it on the third so well they had it ready to mail out on Sunday and it got here today Friday November 8th so it took six days including the weekend because I live on the West Coast and they are shipped from almost as far east as you can get in New, U New Jersey. So, what does this one look like, you ask? But some of you may already know, but I'm going to show you anyway. And we're going to get down to the details, showing you all the special things about this limited edition diamond painting. Yes, I bumped the camera. And yes, I'm in a very good mood. No particular reason. But it's Friday. Teslin has three days off because Monday is a holiday. And I look forward to that extra day of spending time with her. Although Monday is my video night for going live. It is a school night, so she will still be able to be in bed while I do it. And I have a doctor appointment on Monday. See my pain specialist I have to see every three months. Yes, it's come time for that again. Amazing how much time has flown this year. Can you believe Thanksgiving is just two weeks away? Less than two weeks away? Me neither. All right, so this is what this diamond painting looks like. It looks like they've done a little bit different on their boxing. They've changed a couple of things, it looks like. Um, on their website, it looks a little more, more informative. Um, pictures, easier to understand. Um, yeah, so the... the website uh the listing for this diamond painting actually looks a little different than the others that i've seen in the past it looks actually different than when i ordered it because i ordered on my phone and i'm on the computer now but still has the snowflake holograph it costs 39.99 and it's 51 by 61 so it's pretty big it is round with a b one one a b color one special drill oh my gosh they squished it and one glowing glow in the dark drill here's our drill here is our toolkit is round so no tweezers will be included it has a six placer in there. Baggies, a tray, a squishy, two pieces of wax, and a pin. All right, here is our. Oh, they put it sideways because I guess it's going to be landscape oriented. And here are the 30 colors. And let's say 
So number one, it's going to be a white for the AB. And number 29, the plus symbol that is going to be our glow in the dark. I only know because it says E742, which is the same color that was glow in the dark on the Halloween nighttime because I am working on that right now. And I recognize the number E742. Y104 is the special shape. And from peeking, it looks like there's only a few of them. And it's probably going to be the, obviously, well, obviously to me, it looks like it's going to be the pearls, the ornaments on the Christmas tree. What I'm wondering is if the glow in the dark is going to be the star all of the stars or just the one on top. So we're going to look at that now and see. The good thing about them using the same glow in the dark drill is that if you run out, you can use ones from that kit if you had that kit as well. My problem is, is that I spilled <clears throat> Um, of the, not the glow in the dark, but they had that same color in that kit, but they weren't glow in the dark, and I spilled those in my hair. Yeah, because I was trying to charge the ones up in the tray because I got them mixed in with the glow in the darks, and so I was trying to charge the ones that were glowing so I could pull them out and put them in the right container because my whole tray got bumped and all, every color that I had out in trays, which was 12 different colors, got mixed together. So that was fun. So here are instructions with a thank you code. And oh, there are some tips and tricks on here I didn't even notice last time. It's uh, telling you to, to, pr to prevent static clean with dryer sheets. Uh, place cut up dryer sheets in with the stored gems to eliminate static clean. Uh, it says game changer, but I'm thinking that me is supposed to say game changer. Use the checkerboard technique to apply diamonds. Applying diamonds in a checkerboard manner will give you straight lines every time. Or you could use a mesh ruler. If you don't have a mesh ruler, the checkerboard method works great even for rounds. Use multi-placer tool. This special tool is, is uh, I really don't know what that word is. Clueided. Oh, it's supposed to say included. Okay. <clears throat> With every diamond art club kit and allows the placement of three diamonds at a time. Some of them do come with six as I showed you in this one. Work in sections of color blocks. Working in sections with a single color at a time is most helpful. Keeps you organized and helps complete the painting quicker. I agree. All right. And then it tells you how it works. It gives you a little bit of information about the company. It gives you their website, their Facebook and their Instagram. And yeah, I like this little pamphlet a lot better than what they were previously doing. And I love the sticker on the outside of the painting. It's um, just the last couple have been put in before the drills. And so when they go to put the drills in, it's been mangling up my paper, my sticker. So maybe something to look at. Here we go. Oh, okay, I was wrong because it's so much bigger than I thought. Those pearls do not go on the large ones. Let's look at the sticker here. They're going to go on these smaller, like, shine spots, white, the white shines. Yeah, because if they were going to go on the big ornaments, they would have to bend, they would have to be about that big around. So... Yeah, it's the smaller ones right there. You can see them here. It's number four. I'm just hoping there's enough because, let's see, it's requiring one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> I see two, four, six, eight. I see ten exactly, so do not lose one because there's just enough to do that special shape. And the glow in the dark is going to be the star and all the other stars on here. And it's not mixed in with anything else. It's those only. So when it glows, you're going to, the stars are going to glow. And, and you know, the glow isn't really super bright and it doesn't, the, the drills don't stay charged very long, but it's just a neat feature. It, it really is. And especially if you like had this framed, um, with one of those frames that has the light that shines down on it, or even if you have it underneath some kind of light that's directly shining onto it, when you go to turn your lights off, it's going to shine even more because it's got, you know, a constant charge throughout the day. I think that would be neat. Um, I actually do not have a completed Christmas diamond painting up on my wall at all, uh, or done period. I'm working on one that's a rhinestone, but I'm kind of working on it in between my in between project. So, um, I kind of got bored because it had a lot of slivers in it and those are really hard for me. So, and I wanted to get my Halloween nighttime done considering it's already November and I don't have it done. Anyway, the AB I'm guessing is L. No, AB is one. Why did I think L? L is 803. So, but that's a lot of the sparkles up in the sky here. The AB color is, you guessed it. Well, maybe you didn't. It's the strip that goes, this tinsel, it's the outside portion of it. So the inside is another color on most, on the majority thickest part, it's got ones on the outside and then another color on the inside, which is, uh, looks like 775. I'm not sure what color that is. Um, but yeah, it goes down. It's on all of them. This one actually has the most. It is actually all the whole thing, except for the bottom layers. And this one down here, whoops, you can't see. So it's on here and here and here. Uh, amazingly, it's not in the big ornaments. Those will be 3865, which is also the same color as uh, the stars that are over here. What's, what's a little strange is in this picture, okay, it does have stars. They're just really, really light and you can't really see them too well. Let's see, uh, yeah. Wait, wait, if you look really close, you can see them. Kind of looks just like it's dust. But let me wipe it off just to make sure. Nope, they're still there. So that's what all of these speckles are up in the sky because I, you know, just from a distance like this, I can't see those speckles in the sky, but they're there and they are highlighted with what color did I say that was 803, which I can't think of what color it looks like. It's going to be a blue. So maybe it's, it's not going to be a huge cha color change because this is black, but it's going to be some kind of blue. So it'll just be, it'll be very subtle, like in the picture. So that is really nice how they did that. The trees over here have the snow on them. And I don't think there are any ABs uh, anywhere other than this main part of the tree. And I like that because that makes the tree the main focus and everything else around it is just, you know, what it is, background. 
And I'm not, yeah, I'm looking down here. There's a lot of color blocking in the bottom area. But it's cha color change and color blocking. Because overall, there's not a ton of color blocking. I mean, it kind of looks like it. You're going to get some in the background here and up at the top, especially with the black. But, you know, your color blocking is interrupted with the specks of blue. And even in these other areas, it's kind of hard to see. Those specks of blue are throughout this area down here as well. And the, I mean, there are good portions of color blocking. Don't get me wrong. It's just not like New York skyline where the background is just one color, period. Nothing mixed in with it at all. This is very colorful. I mean, it's not too colorful. It's the right colors. It's okay. So I'm looking now here on these red ornaments, the place where the light reflects, where it gets that, um, where you can see like a reflection spot. Um, there is an, they, they do have the AB. So they have one AB on each of these major red bulbs. I just noticed that. Uh, so other, but it's still just the tree. It's not the background. So if you do purchase this and you, you're working on it and you notice in the background, you found an AB and say, Oh, there it is. She was wrong. I can't trust her anymore. Oh, you know, I know you're not going to say that, but you know, it could happen. I'm not perfect. And I'm just going by what I am seeing here up close and I don't see any ABs in the background at all. Could be wrong, but from my looking at this, there isn't any. And this does feel like it is about the same size as Halloween nighttime. Now that I'm looking at it, um, it could be a little smaller. I mean, I could look at the dimensions, but it looks to be about the same size. I am almost finished with it, the Halloween nighttime. So I've been looking at it a lot. So I'm, I'm thinking they're about the same size. There might be a slight difference, but for the most part, if you want to try and estimate how long it's going to take you to do it, this one uh, might take a little longer because of the fact that the background isn't just black like on Halloween nighttime, but the thing on Halloween nighttime is the background is surrounding a very large moon, which is the center, and it takes up more of the center than this tree does. So that's a bigger portion, less background. Uh, so that just kind of gives you a little bit of an idea, but there is a bit more color changes and colors because this one has 30 and that one has only 16 colors. So there we have it here. I'll let you look at the drill field just so you can kind of get a idea of what it'll look like. So the four there, that is the special shape. The one right there, that is the AB and the plus sign, the orange plus sign right there in the middle. That is your glow in the dark. And I mean, these symbols are so clear. It's never a question on what they are. And there you go. So shall we look at those drills? Close this up. Okay, that is put away. Let's look at this. Definitely looks like Christmas in there. I see red and green. Uh, all right. So, like I said, here is our. 10 half pearls. So, I mean, I'm sure if you do lose them, they do. This was one of the diamond paintings that has the 
guarantee. I'm, I'm not sure how they do that when it's a limited edition, how they would actually replace something like this that if they ran out. I don't know if they keep extras on hand or what. But those look like ornaments. I mean, those are really cool. I mean, it's supposed to be signifying the stars, but look at that. They kind of look like eyeballs, but they're really pretty. I'm going to zoom in so you can see everything a little better. So, I'm trying to figure out where this starts. There we go. It starts on this side with the dark green for the trees, I'm sure, underneath all that snow. Ooh. So this is the strip with the small amounts. I don't know, every time I open it, I seem to get it backwards, no matter what. Looking at, trying to look at the numbers. Yeah, there's a, a, like a coral color there. And we have a lot of black. Not a lot, but there's quite a bit. There's three bags of 310. Um, let's open this all the way up. Here we have 939. There are two bags of 939 and two bags of 823. So that's going to be a big portion of that background. They look very similar in color. Can you tell the difference? I can see a slight difference. The one on the left is a little bit darker. And this is more of a navy blue and this is more like a midnight blue. 939 is more of a midnight blue. It's almost black. Oh, how was it? It was like that. Okay, so. And then this is that strip with the small amounts. So, you got the coral and some light greens. A little bit of reds, more greens, and I swear I saw an AB, the AB in here. Oh, it's on the other side. So we've got 666, more greens, and here we go. Here is our glow in the dark, right here. And here is our AB color, 141. And then we just have some, the regular colors, 700, 699, and that 3865, I am surprised there's not more of it. It's the color of the big ornaments, but maybe that's the majority of where that color is. And then some more blues. One last, like I said, there's three bags of the 310. And this, this one is the strip with the mm. big colors. 775, 820, so lots of blues. It's kind of surprising, but I guess that's how they depict snow a lot of the time is light blues because it's just kind of a dusted color. And 890. So there we go, there's all of our colors. And that is Glowing Christmas. So is this something that you have purchased or are interested in purchasing? I mean, I when I saw limited edition this time, I jumped on it because when when I finally saw the the Halloween one, I didn't even know the Halloween was coming out. Um when I saw people getting it and, and then I saw my email, I'm like, oh yes. And I was so excited and it was sold out by the time I got to it. So luckily I was able to get it when they brought it back for a limited time, but I didn't want that to happen this time. So I jumped at the chance to get this Christmas tree. And like I said, it's my, this is my one and only Christmas um, diamond painting from Diamond Art Club. I do have their Christmas cards, but I don't have any of their Christmas uh, diamond paintings. So this is the very first one. 
and I don't have any Christmas ones completed, so I'm hoping that maybe this will be the first one. I don't know. There are so many diamond paintings I want to start next that I don't know what to do. I'm kind of in a, I'm stuck in a, between a rock and a hard place and all these diamond paintings. I want to, I just want to do, I want to do them all. But anyway, so let me know what you think of the glow in the dark. If you've seen it already on the Halloween night time, what you think of the glowing, what you think of, um, these half pearls. The special shape. You don't see that too often on a diamond painting from my Diamond Art Club. So I think it's kind of special to actually get one with these in it. So yeah, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Tell me if you plan to get this or if you already have and you're waiting for it or if you actually have it in your possession, you've already started it. Let me know. I will... See you guys in my next video, so have fun diamond painting, and don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go, and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye.